Hello, welcome to weekly vlog number 10. I've just got home from work and I'm now going to go eat some dinner and have a shower and watch Great British Bake Off because I haven't watched it yet and I need to watch it. Hello lovely bums, I'm just waiting for my dinner to cook. I think we're having lasagna, which is one of my favourites. I really like lasagna. This is a really weird angle and it's really comfy so I'm just going to stay here and have a weird arm. <laughs> I was going to ask you. I need a new foundation because I feel like it's getting to the time now where I need one that's got a bit more coverage to it. The cushion one that I've been using has kind of been going a bit blotchy recently. I don't really know why, but it has. It wasn't to begin with. When I first started using it, it didn't go blotchy, but it's going blotchy now. And it's really annoying me, so I need a new one. But I don't know what to get. So let me know in the comments below what your favourite foundation is because I literally I have no idea what to get. I really want to try the Charlotte Tilbury one, but I know it's way too expensive. That's not a foundation I'm going to buy myself. It's probably one I'm going to ask for, like, Christmas or birthday or, like, birthday and Christmas money will go towards it because it's expensive. I think it's nearly, like, £40. I might be wrong, but I think it's nearly £40, so I can't just buy that for myself. So let me know what your favourite foundations are because I am in need of one right now. My sunflowers have started wilting. They're not so happy anymore. They're still nice and bright, they so I'm happy about that. Here's a fun fact about me. When I have lasagna, which is what I have for dinner tonight, I like to have it with salad cream and pickled onions. It just works, honestly. Try it. I have got to stop chewing my lips. I always do this when I'm like ill or getting ill or like really, really tired. I chew my lips. They get so dry, then they get painful, so don't tulips bad habit very bad habit good morning it is monday morning i am very brightly lit i had to fill out with petrol this morning filling out with petrol is such a chore i hate doing it normally i do it in the evenings but when i came home from work yesterday the petrol station was like packed and i couldn't be bothered to sit and sit in a queue and wait so i filled up this morning which meant i had to get up slightly earlier and i had to leave slightly earlier so it was even more of a chore today but i have petrol i am at the park and ride ready to go get the bus although when i was pulling into the park and ride it looks really busy going into town i really wanted a starbucks breakfast so i don't think i'm going to be able to get one or at least a pumpkin spice latte that is what i'm feeling today because i'm a bit chilly but i've only got like a really thin cardigan on because it's supposed to get really hot later and tomorrow is meant to be really hot too so i can enjoy the heat after work <laughs> i am absolutely hooped today I don't know if I even mentioned it in last week's vlog, but this week, or last week, my manager was away, and obviously because I'm assistant manager, that means that I am manager for the week, and it has been very stressful. This is why I don't want a manager's job. <laughs> assistant manager is far enough, thank you very much. Yeah, I'm just exhausted. I feel like I haven't left work. Like, even when I'm at home, it's all I'm thinking about. But she is back tomorrow, so I'm very excited for, for that. I cannot wait to get home. I think I'm gonna have a bubble bath and get in my pajamas or in comfies anyway. Probably my pajama bottoms and a nice jumper. Still haven't watched Bake Off, so I still need to watch that. I have a weird spot on my face here and one on my eyebrow, which is really bucking me. <laughs> yeah, I can't, I just want tomorrow to be over really because I'm off Wednesday, so I kind of want tomorrow to be over so that I can properly like relax. I'm so tired, guys. I don't know if you can even tell. I'm ridiculously tired. My eyes are so heavy. Also, for dinner, my mum texted me earlier and she was like, oh, um, is this or this for dinner? What would you like? I was like, I don't really fancy that. All I really fancy is a bowl of vegetables. So I'm having a bowl of vegetables with gravy tonight for dinner. And I have to say, I'm blooming excited for it and I really don't know why. But I just feel like I wanted something really healthy and just good for me just because I feel so like run down and I have no energy. I just like... I need something good for me. So I've gone for a bowl of vegetables. <laughs> it's such a nice evening today. Like the weather is perfect. It's cloudy, so it's not really hot, but it's like just the right temperature. This is the kind of weather that I really like. So it's not raining, it's not really hot. It's warm enough to not have to wear like a coat, but it's cold enough to wear like a thin cardigan like this. This is my perfect time of year. Like September and October, are my favorite favorite seasons apart from august for obvious reasons of my birthday but yeah anyway i'm gonna stop rambling because i just need to get home good evening my little cherubs so i've had my dinner my little bowl of vegetables it was really good actually I might do that more often really filling anyway in my pajama bottoms still in my work top but i just wanted to get out of the skirt to be honest and i think i'm now gonna have a bath i have 
watched the Sakoni Jolie's uh, vlog today and I've also caught up on Alice's new weekly vlog. I think I'm now going to have my bubble bath so I can have an early night. And I can't decide whether to watch some YouTube in the bath or to read a book. I think my eyes are a bit too tired to read a book. Maybe I'll try. I still really need to finish Shelby's book. I have like, look at all these. They're all the books that I still need to read. I'll show you them. So, I'm obviously currently reading Zoe's. Then I've got... Hold on. Look how sad my sunflowers look now. <laughs> so sad. Um, I've still got The Grown Up, which is by Gillian Flynn, who did Gone Girl. And also there's another book that my brother is currently reading by her that I need to read too. So that's two Gillian Flynn books. Books. I've got Unseen by Karen Slater, which I got for Christmas, which I still haven't read. I need to read that, it's supposed to be really good. And I still haven't read the new Harry Potter, and I really need to read it. And I think Harry Potter is going to be the next one that I read, once I finish Girl Online. I would start reading it, but I can't start reading another book while I'm still reading another book, if that makes any sense at all, if you get what I'm trying to say there. So I'm trying to read it as quickly as possible, but it's finding the time to read. I just don't have a lot of time to read. Or I don't make enough time to read, if that makes sense. I got a um, very.com magazine through the post today. They like to send them to me to tempt me to spend more money, which doesn't take a lot, I can tell you. But I'm being very controlled. But there's an outfit in here that I really want. Look at this. I really, really, really want it. The light is so bright. The jumper with the, like, pleated skirt i love it and then she's got her adidas trainers on but i'd probably wear my converse sorry hannah but i would <laughs> i just really like the outfit it looks cozy but it still looks really stylish at the same time i thought i'd share that information with you mm. i also kind of like these jeans in a really bizarre way can you see them with that jumper too <gasps> oh i haven't vlogged yet today it's tuesday um it's currently i don't know what the time is Hold on. 20 past nine at night. I haven't vlogged at all today. Work was fine, went pretty quick. All good, manager's back at work now, so I'm a bit more relaxed. <laughs> and it's my day off tomorrow, which I desperately need. I'm currently halfway through watching Bake Off. We had to pause it because one of those crane flies came in, like those, I call them daddy long legs, but apparently that's the spider. But I still think it's the bug, like the flying bug. I hate them, like despise them. They're horrible, so we had to pause it and I like legged it out of the room and mum got it out, so it's gone now. I'm just waiting for mum to come back. We're watching Bake Off last week's bread week because we haven't watched it yet. I look like I have a loaf of bread on my head too. <laughs> I've been really naughty and I've made a late night clothing purchase from Very. I've ordered these jeans and that jumper. I really like the like bell sort of sleeves. It's really nice and these jeans i just think are really different and we were quite cool for autumn and then oh and then like spring there we go next year and things yeah treated myself sometimes it just has to be done and i haven't treated myself to like clothes that haven't been work clothes for quite a while so I thought I would do it now. It's now quarter to 11. This always happens when I'm off the next day. I'm never tired and I never want to go to sleep. I stay up forever. No matter how tired I've been like during the day. I'm always wide awake when I know I'm off the next day. I need to take my makeup off and go to bed. <laughs> oh, I was gonna talk to you guys the other day and then my camera died literally as I started talking. Basically the other night I was feeling quite lonely and just, yeah, just kind of, quite lonely and I was just looking through my Facebook and Twitter and things and there's so many people that I used to spend so much time with and <laughs> and like speak to great angle even worse angle speak to every day that I now don't say anything to apart from happy birthday and it's usually because Facebook reminds me I used to talk to these people like every single day we talk about everything and now I don't talk to them at all and it's just made me realise like how quickly your life can change and people's lives move at such different speeds and things happen to other people and 
maybe something happens to you or it doesn't and everyone kind of moves on and grows up and then there's always certain people that just stay in your life but yeah I was just flicking through and I was like I used to spend hours like talking to these people and I would see them all the time and every week and now I don't see them at all ever I don't we don't talk or anything so I think today, whenever you're watching this vlog, you should go and find someone that you used to talk to every single day. Not like go and find them as in like stalk them, but go and find them on Facebook or whatever. And just send them a little message and ask them how they are, what they're up to, that sort of thing. Because they might be feeling lonely too. And you might cheer up their day just by sending them a little message. So yeah. I think you should all go and do that. This was just very rambly. But yeah, I was going to have a chat to you guys about loneliness the other day because I was feeling really down and then I started to talk and my camera battery died. So that was quite ironic, wasn't it? She's now having a bar. Is it bedtime, Rory? Bath time for the cat and bedtime for me. Good morning. I have no idea why I'm awake at this time on my day off. Dory makes a great pillow. But this is my morning right now. Updates. Updates. Apparently all my stuff wants to update at the same time. I'm so tired. <laughs> update complete. The main difference is the messages, like how they look. It's really weird trying to do things through a screen. And the noises, like listen. <laughs> And the lock screen. But yeah, nothing else is really that different. This is what happens when I've got my like brain set in autumn clothes and then it suddenly decides to be sunny again. I never know what to wear and it takes me ages. I've gone with this though. I've gone with my stripy, crusty new look top and then my denim skirt that I've actually never worn. When I got it, it was a bit too tight. But I was determined that I was not going to buy a size 10, so I stuck with the size 8. <laughs> and now it fits. Yay! Cute! And I'm just going to wear it with my Converse because I don't like my feet, to be honest, so I don't really like wearing sandals. And I can't bother to paint my toenails. And I've gone for a red lip. What is it? What have I got on my lips today? Oh, what's in my makeup bag? Hold up, hold up. And I've straightened my hair. If you didn't notice, we've gone all out today. I just decided I don't really ever make an effort anymore with like how I look. So I thought I went today. It is by Lord and Berry and it is the colour Kiss. I really like it. It's, it's so easy to wear and it wears really nicely. So it's kind of a non-faff red. Not really drying. It's quite nice and like moisturising on your lips. I just really like it. I actually got it in a... I think I got it in a glossy box actually. So I'm just packing because I'm at Daniel's tonight. I'm going to his this afternoon. What else can I tell you? The cat's sleeping in my clothes. Mm -hmm. She's so funny. Yeah, I think I like my outfit. The only thing I struggle with... Oh with this sort of thing is I don't like sitting down in them. Is that a really weird thing to say? Just because I don't like when they, I don't like my thighs really. So I don't really like sitting down. So I tend to just stand around everywhere when I'm in skirts like this. Is that really weird? Probably. Oh, and also I'm wearing a French Connection body spray today, which I really like. Obviously you can't really smell it, but it's nice. And it's really sunny outside. But as I said earlier, it makes me very confused as to what to wear because I just got myself ready to wear jumpers and jeans and it's too hot to wear that now. But then I'm like, is it gonna get cold later? Do I need something later? Drama. Does anybody else have these problems? <laughs> it happens every year. I just made myself a cup of tea and the tea bag broke. Now there's like tea floating around in it. <sighs> I should probably make myself another one then sometime. This morning has been a complete and utter fail this morning. Got up, forgot my tights, so now I've got no tights on, and obviously it's disgustingly foggy and horrible. Then I realised I don't have an actual jacket, so I've just got my thin cardigan. Then I got stuck in traffic. Then my phone decided to die at 23% battery, and now I'm probably about to miss my bus. I'm gonna have to wait for another one in the cold. 
my only saving grace right now is the fact that I know my breakfast is already at work so I don't have to go buy breakfast but I do have to go and buy some tights because we have to wear them at work is it time to go home yet? my day gets better so I just went to buy tights having a complete Bridget Jones moment because um, they didn't have any small so I had to get medium so they're ridiculously long so they're currently tucked under my bra to hold them up um because they're too long for me and then well after i'd done that and i was pulling down my skirt again i caught my ring on them and a pair laddered so i've just had to completely change them into the second pair so thank god i got a two pack and not just a single pair of tights seriously can i please go home now my day is now done i can now go home no more dramas happened it's been quite a well i say smooth running day it was quite stressful day because we had a new window change to put in but apart from that it was fine there was no more like dramas for myself everything happens in threes so i had my three this morning <laughs> i am at daniel's tonight again so i'm going back there after work obviously i look fabulous right now please excuse this oh dear uh it's been a really nice day today like really sunny and now it's getting really cloudy so i think it's gonna rain which we kind of need we need some rain so i'm happy about that and thunderstorms at daniel's can look quite cool because he lives like four stories or three stories up so we can just look out and watch the thunderstorm and there's like a little not balcony thing but out of a fire exit at the back we can go and stand on there so if there's a thunderstorm i'll show you it because i love thunderstorm more nan i left a little bit early today so i have a bit more time to chill i don't have to rush out i've got like 20 minutes well 15 minutes until my bus i feel like i look like a boy today i was at daniel's last night so i didn't get a chance to like wash my hair it needs washing really so i'm gonna do that tonight but i've had to like shove it up again like i suggested and i just feel like a boy like this i don't like it i don't like it anyway i have that friday feeling it is my weekend off this week we get one weekend off a month and this is mine and I really want today to end so that I can just start to enjoy my weekend. Also, I have a parcel waiting for me at home, which I'm very excited to open from Very. Hopefully, the two items that I ordered fit me. Very hit and miss with Very, and they only did the two items in size eights. And I'm sometimes an eight, sometimes a six. It depends on the cut. So I guess we will have to see. Um, but hopefully they'll fit and everything will be all good. I think it's going to absolutely chuck it down today, look. I swear the sky always looks so much more blue on camera than it is in real life. I promise you it's like grey. It's disgusting. No, your radio is loud too. But I'm prepared. I have my umbrella in the back of the car. Do I? Yes, down there. Can you see that little clear bit there? That's my umbrella. I'm organised today. Right, time to go to work. Yeah. I just watched um, Jonathan and Anna's gender reveal on the bus on the way home because I saw that they'd uploaded it and I couldn't wait to get home to watch it. I don't advise watching that in public because I had to really control the tears. <laughs> congratulations guys. Um, you won't watch this so don't know why I'm saying that but congratulations. <laughs> yeah, finished work, back at the car, time to go home to um, a parcel. Very exciting. Hopefully it will fit. I will show you. Yeah, I'm gonna try it on. See you in a bit. Yay, parcel. I need to open that. And then my other parcel is another little cage for Madam. I've got her a, a slightly bigger, a bit more to do in it. And the bar, there aren't right because she can't get to the bars because she keeps biting the bars and that's not good for her. So I think we're gonna take her to the vets again though tomorrow because mom's been keeping an eye on her and she's lost a bit more weight and um, she started to draw like on one side of her mouth. So I think her teeth are really bothering her. So mum's gonna take her to the vets again. We've been giving her food and like putting some water in it. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see her. She's like hiding. Can you see her? Hiya. No. Yeah, she's been hiding in um, her little house. So I'm gonna make her better. I'm gonna try my clothes now. I hate both things. The top is ridiculously soft, but it's huge and makes me look like a square. And the trousers just cut off at completely the wrong place. Nope. Going back. Good evening, guys. It is... What's the time? It's half 11 at night. And I think I'm very tired because I'm finding this really satisfying. So, you know I updated my phone. Right. Well, if you do this, if you just lift your phone up, the light comes on. <laughs> so you can check it without having to touch anything. I know there's been loads of complaints about this to iOS 10, but... I am finding it 
very satisfying. <laughs> Hello, happy Saturday. I was going to film tomorrow's main video today and then I thought, no, I never have a Saturday off so I'm going to make the most of it and I've had a really lazy morning, had a shower, washed my hair. Um, me and mum are about to pop out to go to Pets at Home because I need to pick up a few things for the hamster and go to Tesco's and then this afternoon um, I'm going to bake some banana muffins because that's the only way I'd eat banana for some reason. I hate bananas like with a passion, the smell of them, the, the texture of them, the taste of them. I don't know, just don't like bananas but for some reason I will eat them in a banana muffin. So we're going to make banana muffins and we're gonna catch up on Bake Off because we didn't watch it Wednesday and yeah I'm just gonna have a proper Saturday a proper relaxed chilled Saturday and that never happens and then I'm just gonna film tomorrow's main video tomorrow morning because it's not a long video so it won't take me that long and then I can just relax and edit the vlog this evening before I go to bed so that's what I'm gonna do and I am enjoying it so far. Also left my hair natural today. I just, for some reason, I don't like my hair, like in my face. I always have it half up now, but I'm getting quite bored of this style. But I don't know what else to do because I just don't like how anything else looks at all. I can tell you what, vlogging is definitely an arm workout. My arm is full on aching right now. Back from Pets at Home and Tesco's and it was the most unsuccessful trip ever. So we bought ourselves cake. I'm gonna eat that while we watch Great British Bake Off. And I'm still going to make my banana muffins. I also bought some new bagels for lunch, actually, these ones. They are red onion and chive. I'm sorry if you can't hear me because the kettle is boiling. So I'm excited to have those. I think they'll be really good um, toasted with some cream cheese or something. Mm -mm. But yeah, that was the most unsuccessful trip we've ever had. No waste of my time. Just finished watching the Bake Off. I didn't really like this week's, to be honest. It wasn't really Bake Off for me. It was more like a cook-off. Like... Yorkshire puddings on baking, I don't really think. But anyway, now it's time to edit the vlog. So I'm gonna start that. Hopefully it won't take too long. Although I really do really enjoy um, editing. <laughs> to be honest, does that make me weird? The editing is done up until this clip. <laughs> um, I'm now boiling the kettle so that me and mum can have tea and cake at half past nine at night. And I'm not gonna lie, this is our second round of tea and cake. And I'm not guilty about that fact because it's a Saturday night and you can indulge on a Saturday night. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear as well, mum's just started hoovering the house. She's a lot like me in that aspect where she likes to clean and she'll do it whenever she can. So it's now half past nine at night and she's just started hoovering the house, so. <laughs> but I thought I would end the vlog here because I don't think anything else is gonna happen. I really fancy watching Goodnight Mr. Tom. That is probably one of my all-time favourite films. Such a classic. I absolutely love it. I think the first time I watched it was in primary school and I was in like year three, maybe four, maybe year four. But I just remember I really liked it and it's been a favourite film of mine ever since then. Not the happiest of film. Well, it has a happy ending, but it's a pretty emotional film. Um, but I think I'm going to watch that tonight. While I eat my tea, I was going to say. While I drink my tea and eat my cake. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the vlog. Give it a thumbs up if you did. It was slightly shorter this week, I think. Um, not a lot happened, really. I really hope these vlogs aren't boring for you. Sorry if they are. Thanks for watching. <laughs> um, yeah, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. I am so close as well to... 900 subscribers so if you are watching this now why not subscribe so you don't miss next week's video and you can help me reach a milestone so that will be wonderful <laughs> i'll see you next week bye